Hi guys! In this video, I will share with you how I successfully propagate my Sansevierias, or also known as snake plants. So keep watching! I got these plants from my friend. They were not in their best condition when I got them, and some leaves were already damaged, so I decided to cut them off and propagate them instead of throwing them away. Sansevierias are known by many names. They are also called mother-in-law's tongue, devil's tongue, and also snake plant. It has also different varieties. The one I have here is the Trifasciata golden honey, also known as bird's nest snake plant. For this kind of snake plants, I don't need a knife or a scissor to take off the leaves from the mother plant. I just use my hand to tear the leaves off. This one is also called Trifasciata honey. It is also called bird's nest snake plant. Another quickest way to propagate Sansevierias is by dividing them and repotting them one by one. Let the leaf cuttings wounds healed overnight before putting them in soil. For the hard leaves, use a sharp scissor or knife to cut them. For the longer leaves, I cut them at least 4 inches long and made sure that I won't confuse the bottom part of the leaf from the top. I use a sharp scissor to cut the leaves, but you may also use a sharp knife or a cutter. Let the wounds callous overnight before putting them in the soil. For these cuttings, I recommend soil that drains well like cactus mix or just soil mixed with sand so long it doesn't hold so much moisture or else the cuttings will rot.
I make it sure that I buried the bottom part of the leaf and not the top part or else it will not root. After burying them in a lightly moist soil, I keep them in my balcony away from direct sunlight and rain. I waited for a week before I start to give some water, just enough to moisten the dry soil. It took me 3 to 4 months before the new plant starts appearing. Some of them grow faster than the other. Some of the unhealthy cuttings died, but most of them lives. Some cuttings just started to show some new pups, while some of them are already safe to separate them and repot them. I only water them when the soil is already dry. Little water oil. Thank you for watching.